everyone, it's Miss Melissa. I am so happy I get to talk to you guys again today. Well, today we are all done with our season of creation from last month. And we're going to go back to um, learning about the Old Testament. And if you remember, all the way back in August, we learned about Moses when he was a baby and that um, and he had a he was rescued from the Nile River and then we learned about that he grew up and he did some he was upset by things that he saw and by people mis being mistreated and unfortunately he did some bad things and so he ran away and then God let um, God said that I've chosen you to get have my people be let free because they were slaves in Egypt well, where we're at now, they're not slaves anymore. They've been freed. God helped Moses to be able to free them from Pharaoh. And they've been wandering in the desert for a while. And today we're going to hear a story about that. But first, let's go ahead and pretend that we're, um, we just came out of the church, out of the sanctuary, went down the hallway, and we stayed stopped at our Jesus banner, right? Okay, and then we always talk about how God loves us and wants us to love each other and that we're all children of God no matter what, right? Everyone, big or small. And then we count the children of God, right? So why don't we start over here today? So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen with Jesus, eighteen with me, nineteen with Priscilla, and then twenty with you, right? And then you have to count all the children of God at home. So you have to start with twenty one, okay? All right, then we go into our classroom and we turn on our candle. And the one that I have doesn't turn on. If you have one at home that you can turn on, go ahead and turn that on. If you have one like I have that you have to light, make sure that you have an adult help you with that, okay? All right, now I've got my candle lit. And then I think Priscilla has something to talk to us about. everybody hello Priscilla you know what I had a special treat yesterday oh well that's really nice what kind of special treat was it well I had apples and honey and my friend Sora told me about a special Jewish holiday called Rosh Hashanah. One thing they do is dip apples into honey to remember that living in God's way is sweeter than honey. And if we were together, I would share a snack with you because I think that we all need to remember that Living in God's way is sweeter than honey. I think it's a really good plan. That does sound really good. Well, what are some ways that we can live in God's loving way? What are things that we can do that maybe are the way that God wants us to live? Because you know that God loves us and he wants us to love each other, right? What other things does God want us to do? How can we show that we love each other and everyone? We learned last month about how God wants us to love and take care of creation, right? And there's also ways that we can show that we love and take care of people. Like we can give hugs and kisses to our family, right? And maybe we can show that we love and care and help people just by like picking up our room. I bet your parents would really like that. 
And there's other ways that we can show that we help. If you remember, we have food barrels at church where we donate food for people that don't have food. And that's another way that we can show that we love God. There are lots of ways to show that we love God. We're going to learn a little bit more about some of the roles and things that God wants us to do in our story. All right, well, why don't we have Priscilla sit? talk to us. Okay. Well, our story is about Moses in the Ten Commandments. And you have the story in your curriculum that your parents get. And there is this page here that has all these different figures that you can color and you can act out the story. And if you keep this page, there's different things that you can um, do for the different weeks. There's different ones. Like this is the group of people that Moses led out of the out of Egypt. I mean, there was a lot more, but this just symbolizes them. And they were really upset because they've been in the desert for a while and they just were not doing the right things. We're gonna hear a little bit more about that in our story. And then they they made um a golden calf instead of worshiping God they worshiped a gold calf which is crazy right and there's Moses and he went and talked to God and then he got the rules that God gave us so what I'm gonna do is instead of reading it from our story from the curriculum I'm actually just gonna read it from our spark story Bible that um, is the one that we used to have in the pews at church but I thought that it might be a little bit more fun to read it there. See, there's pictures and stuff, okay? The Ten Commandments. The Israelites were on their way to the land of God that God had promised them. But it was a long way. With God watching over them, men, women, and children walked and walked and walked over the hot, dry land. When they got tired and needed to rest, they would set up tents and camp together under the stars. Well, they were camping at the bottom of a mountain called Mount Sinai. Something terrible happened. Something incredible happened. On the morning of the third day that they were there, a dark cloud covered the mountain. Crash! Boom, bang, lightning and thunder filled the sky, and people were afraid. Suddenly, the voice of God called Moses. God asked Moses to climb the mountain to the top of the mountain. So Moses grabbed his walking stick, and he climbed up. See, there's Moses climbing the mountain in the middle of a big storm. When he got to the top of the mountain, God spoke. God said, Moses, listen up. I have important rules for you and the people to live by. You can turn this list, turn to this list to know how to love God and each other. Do your best to follow this list. It won't be easy, but I am with you and I love you. Then God gave Moses a list of 10 special rules called the commandments. They were, I am God, the only God. Honor me above all other things and people. There are no other gods for you, only me. My name is special. Don't use it with bad words or mean talk. Take a day of rest each week. Call it the Sabbath and make it a special day for God. Show your mom, dad, and others who take care of you that you love and respect them. Don't hurt others with your words or actions. If you get married, you must be loyal to your husband or wife. 
don't take things that aren't yours. Tell only the truth about your family, friends, and even those you don't know. Be happy with what you have. Don't wish for things that other people have. Those are the rules that God gave Moses and all ways that we can live in God's loving way. And with that, the dark cloud went away. Moses walked down, down, down the mountain. The people were still scared from the dark clouds and thunder. But Moses said, don't be afraid. God has given us special rules to teach how to live together in peace. And Moses told the people about God's rules, and they did their best to follow them. So God had said that we only have the one God, right? So the people that made the golden calf, they were worshiping another god, which wasn't god. It was a false god. So they got rid of the golden calf, and they knew the way that they should live in God's way then. Well, for craft today, there's this paper, and it says, Loving Ways. I want to look at it with you guys real quick and we can color it and you know what I want you to draw a special picture in the middle about a way that you can live in God's way about you doing something to care for others okay so let's look and see what they're doing in each of these pictures all right this one look a little kid is giving his dad a hug right that's a good way to show that you love somebody. In here, they're having a picnic. You see that? There we go. That one, they're having a picnic and they're sharing their food. And that's how they're taking care of each other is they're sharing their food. And they're listening to their parents. Oh, and look here. She's giving her little brother a ball and playing with him. That's a good way to show that we care for people, right? It's to play with them and make sure that they have things. Oh, and look, what is, they, what is he doing? Is he maybe helping to take care of the puppy? I think so. It looks like maybe he's getting ready to play with him. You know what, helping to take care of pets is a good way to show that we love God and that we care for all the creatures that he made. And it's a way to help out your parents sometimes too. Maybe if you help feed the, feed the dog or cat or um, maybe help take a dog for a walk. That would be nice. Oh, and look at that one. She's praying. That is an excellent way to show God that we love him and that we talk to him and we care about him. I think that is a really good way to show God that we love him. Why don't we pray right now, okay? Dear God, we know that you are always with us, helping us to live in your loving ways. Thank you for caring for us, God. Amen. Okay. Well, thank you for being with me today, and I hope you have a wonderful day.